Hello? Hello? hit within eight hours took it off and the cards in my wallet uh edd yeah okay uh do you have your id yeah that's the card it's in my wallet and they tried another time okay it's sepulveda and the 101 well, what about this time does it say where it was the, the, here well, here thousand oaks and did it say where it was taken from like what where the, the an ATM. Did it give an address or what? No, they didn't tell me on the phone. They start transferring me to like a three-tiered security. You gotta talk to us, give security. Then you wanna... I go, sir, ma'am, in India, I don't wanna give you my social. I don't know who you are. They're asking for my so everything. I don't know who you are, okay? And I gotta go through three, excuse me, talking cap. Three-tiered security, but the criminals didn't, okay? So that tells me if the card's in my wallet, they got a card skimmer. That's Secret Service, okay? That's U.S. Secret Service. And that um, this computer's been hacked, okay? Brand new. Before I even registered, it got hacked. The, the whole system, the, the whole operating system got overridden. But I saved part of it. I have all the data. Okay, I'm sick of it. Sick of it. I can't even write a letter on that thing. This this new one hasn't been online. Okay. Uh, what's your phone number? There we put 858-523. Eight four one one. I should have been in Delmar for the fireworks. Every year. I didn't go last year. The year before I went, I got pictures. Every year. I'm in San Diego. The horses are there. So I go today. I said, okay, I'm either going to do my laundry or throw it in the garbage and buy it. So I'm going down, and the, the cowboy store is there. I go, oh, I need some things for the saddle, right? Mm -hmm. So I pop in there, and I'm talking to the girl, and I'm wasting her time. I said, let me spend some money with it, right? Buy something, you know? Support the local business. And uh, part of it went through, but the other part didn't. $78 went through, but the other, I go, what is that? So then I drive to the ATM, and it says zero balance. Okay. Then I call them, and then I press the button. It says, what, the last 10 transactions? A uh, thousand bucks, I've never taken out a thousand. They know my habits. So it's somebody either in the bank, within the bank, because this is the second time. The first one was, like I say, Sepulveda and 101. I go, I, I wasn't there. I was here. I was here. So whoever did it, it slipped in, got my wallet. And then, so and it was exactly $1,000? Yep. Okay. How did they know? Within eight hours of the EDD hitting. Because okay. it hit, I put the, uh, the thing in on the 4th. It wouldn't have hit till midnight at the soonest. And at 8 something, she said, 8, 825 in the morning. Oh, That's when, when was the... Today. The, or, uh, today. When was the deposit? It okay. would have been uh, midnight on the 5th. So within eight hours, it's like, well, who's monitoring me? Who would know, who would know when to hit that amount? Because the, the last unsuccessful attempt, they tried to take a straight thousand, it, it didn't go through, and they stopped my card. I went to go get food, and the card was turned off. And they said, did you try and take a thousand dollars? I'm like, no. And then they send me a new card. Okay, now it's the second time. So there's a pattern here. I'm right. sick of it. The bank's not protecting me? Is this in, uh... Um, bank of America? Yep. Somebody in the bank. Um, the only anomaly I've spent is Chick-fil-A, where they swipe the card. You know, they could have a card reader or something. You swipe the card at Chick-fil-A? No, no, they swipe the card. Oh. That's the only little, my little habits, you know. I go to that bank, I go to that route. This time they swiped it at Chick-fil-A? No, no, I'm saying oh. only on this card, the only place out of, oh, oh, out of sequence. Oh, oh, I see. I where it would have been scanned, or skimmed. Where I could possibly, somebody gotcha. could have... Had, had my card and put it through. I wasn't did, did you use the ATM recently? No, before before the 4th of July, I put the application. It would have hit on mid, 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 midnight. And then I went to do my laundry and went to the cowboy store, and the card didn't work. Okay, so you haven't used an ATM at Bank of America or anything? Last? Since the deposit, no. No, well, I mean before, before the deposit. Only that one, right there near the Ralphs. The one, you know, one of the Ralphs on Moore Park. Okay. When's like the last? A creature habit. I go to the same one, same route, same route, same one. When, when's the last time you uh, used the ATM at, at that B of A? Like three, four days ago. Okay. Usually, I don't know why. I'll go and check the balance, then I'll go to the market. <laughs> I'll take money and I'll go to. The, I don't know why. I can go to the market. I just check the balance. 
park, I'll check the balance, and I go to the routes. Right. That's it. It's like a little creature habit. And wherever this is in Thousand Oaks, it's in this jurisdiction. They tried it before. It's the 101, but they credit they. They, they send me a new card, so I gotta wait for the card to come. And my house is in Hollywood, the guy will throw it over the wall in the garden. He said, I'm supposed to say, like, we hold it, I'll come get it, I'll come to the center. And I gotta send somebody up there. Oops. Yeah, look the address up. So they, they put a shotgun to my head. Two million dollars. You told me told about that. Two, yeah. two zero zero nickels, and you'll see it's just recently flipped. I'm writing the paper now, it's mortgage fraud. Right. Two and a half million dollar mortgage fraud, and Garcetti assisted them. He has what's called, I'll tell you, uh, it's a special police uh, unit within the department. The, LAPD? Um, abatement unit. Okay. And they service the Hollywood people. Because yeah. I've been there for years. Like, what's going on? How do they get five units and five helicopters? They got a card. They'll be there in five minutes. Right. Sanchez and the other guy's Jordan. And they're actually hiring criminals to go squat in the house. Then they'll graffiti it and make it a house of ill repute and prostitute. They have guys just deal meth out of it. And then they take the house. In my case, I kept away all criminality. And I'm throwing the garbage out, and they're getting madder and mad. They had the house loaded. I have pictures of everything with the CDs and, and a fire insurance policy for a half million. And as I'm dumping the stuff, they're getting pissed because I'm throwing out a half million dollars. Joseph was with me. I have pictures. The neighbor threatened to stab me. I go, why is he mad? The garbage goes right here every, every Wednesday. I'd put it out for Thursday, right? And then they stole my trash cans. Then they sent, he sent his guy with tattoos, Marcos, who's always acting as my friend, coming over and they're stealing my tools. He'd been deported 17 times, so I wrote ICE. This guy's a criminal. They sent me a visa application. They sent me a visa application. It's for like, him? <laughs> for him. <laughs> I go, this guy's a criminal. Oh, he offered to kill the homeowner. That's what it was. And I immediately typed it to record it. Yeah. He goes, yeah, I can whack Mark for you. My, 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 my boss wants to buy the house for like 1.4. I go, dude, I'm not going to kill him. He's a murderer. So I report him to ICE. <laughs> and they send him a visa application. <laughs> no, they were living in a surreal world. That's crazy. Yeah. This is Hollywood. Yeah. I believe it. So they have an uh, abatement unit. Yeah. So you might have on a city block a craftsman. I got the data. Mm -hmm. And it's preventing a big Goliath apartment building going. Right. So they'll put homeless in there, burn it, right. oh, well, who done it? Yep. Fire department's in on it. But they also take insurance. Where I was living, they had a half I know I called the insurance companies, you know what they did? Renewed the policy. And then oh here's the other thing, how, how beautiful it is. See you think law abiding and, and the good realtors. The Secretary of State will we'll make you a business at a P.O. box, right? And the recorder's office will record the corporation and a lien on the property, yeah. right? They're in it. And the recorder's office is like, we're not a policing agency. We don't check the documents. They'll record anything, and the Secretary of State will give some. These criminals are taking loans. You could do it to that house next door. Then they got to go hire a lawyer. They're pulling their hair out. You go to sue somebody. It's a P.O. box. In the first instance, they shouldn't be... It's no longer the honor system, right. you know, when I form a corporation. And same with ballots. Mm -hmm. They're sending ballots. So that's got to be fixed because you're in it with the criminals. We're not living in an age of honor anymore. Yeah, so, that's you know, for sure. Well, the house I'm at, they got a million-something dollar loan and just walked away. And they were going to burn it. They were going to burn it to show um, there was no, no remodel ever occurred. And it's in the FEMA, FEMA manual on arson. Exactly what I'm telling you. It's a bulletin <laughs> on what they do. Okay. <laughs> I got to get going. Uh, there's other calls going out, but... Um, so what do I do? I want to prosecute. So, so Yeah, that's what I'm writing the report for. Um, okay. So call... Um, this is the second time. I'll prosecute. I want to see that ATM film from the first instance yep. and the second so instance. So call B of A. Give them that report number. That's um, Hopefully they can reimburse you or... You know what I told them? I'm going to suffer for the next two weeks. Then, don't even cancel the card. I'm going to put in for the next money because part of it's federal money and part of it's state money. Yeah. And let's see if they steal it again because you're supposed to give me security. I'm going to suffer for the next two weeks. Yeah. I'm going to live on handouts. If you see me panhandling, you know why. I won't, I won't jam you up for yeah, it. Yeah. Don't cancel the card because I don't need to go back into Hollywood. It's 100 miles to get a new one. Sorry that happened, sir. Jeez. Have a good day. Good, good luck. See ya.